Hello everyone. Our today's topic is how you can find the surface area of cube and cuboid. Again, I want to make you remember that we can only find the surface area of 3D shapes. So cube and cuboid are the 3D shapes. So we have to find the surface area of the cube and cuboid rather than the area of the cube and cuboid. So let's start with finding the surface area of the cube first. So easiest way in order to find the surface area of the cube is we have to take the one face of this cube and find its area and then we can multiply with the all with the number of the total faces of the cube. Now let's see how many faces are there in the cube. So I'll start counting. One face is the top face, other is the bottom face. Two faces and this one is the third, this is fourth, this is fifth and the front one is the sixth face. So there are total six faces of the cube and all these faces are of square shape. So if we have a square, if I will give you a square and will ask to find the area, then you must keep in your mind that square is a 2D shape and you have to find the area of that square. And the cube is made up of six such squares. So if we can, if we find the square, the area of one square, we can find the area of the, uh, the surface area of the cube. So let's start finding it as area of one square of the cube equals to keep this in mind that length of all sides of the cube are equal because they are all squares so if i take it as this is of a length this will also be of a length and this will also be of a length so all the sides of are of length a so area of one square is equals to length into breadth the formula is length into breadth so here the length is a and the breadth is also a so what we will get we will get a square so Area of one square of the cube is area of one square of the cube is a one square of the cube is a square. Now we have to find the six squares of the cube in or the area of the six squares of the cube in order to find the surface area of the cube. Because surface area includes the area of all the faces, sum of all area of all the faces of the cube. So we have six faces and if we have the area of one face, we can find the area of all the six faces. So I can write here as surface area of cube is equals to 6a square. Now why 6? Because there are six faces in the cube. And why a square? a square is the area of the one two-dimensional square of the cube. So if we multiply it with 6, we will get the surface area of the cube. So, you have to use this formula whenever you will be asked to find the surface area of any cube. Now, the same technique you have to apply in case of the cuboid. But keep this in mind that in cuboid, we have all the, we have all the dimensions or the, all the lengths are of different measurement. That is, this length, this width and this height. All these are of different measurements. So, we cannot take the same uh, we cannot adopt the same strategy as in case of the cube. So let's see what we can do in case of the cuboid. So in case of a cuboid, one thing that you have to keep in your mind that out of the total six faces, two faces are of same measurement. Like if I say this face is of same measurement as this one. And similarly, if I say this face is of same measurement as of this face, that is top and bottom are of same measurement, front and rear are of the same measurement and the side, side faces are of the same measurement. So we have to apply the formula accordingly. So what we can do here is out of these uh, these six faces we have to find the area of the three faces and then we multiply it with two let's see how it, you can do it if i write here area of cuboid is equals to sum of all rectangular faces so it not area of cuboid it's surface area of cuboid keep this in mind there is a difference it will be surface area of cuboid is equals to sum of all rectangular faces and how many rectangular faces are there in the cuboid there are six rectangular faces. Now, as in case of cube, we have multiplied by six. We can't do the same here. Why? Let's see. In case of the cuboid, as I have told you, that 
two faces are of same measurement. So, uh, they, as there are total six faces, so it means out of six faces, every two faces are of same measurement. So, if we uh, find the area of the one face out of the two, we can multiply it with two to get the surface area of the cu cuboid. So, let's do it so that you can have easy concept about it. If I find one uh, area of the one face of the cuboid, what it will be then? Let's see area of one face or you can say rectangle. One face is equals to length into width. This is the area of the 2D face that is two dimensional rectangle. One uh, rectangle. This is basically I am talking about a rectangle, not a cuboid. Uh, that is a one face of the cuboid. Now, if area of one face is length into width, if I, this is uh, uh, what I am talking about, you can say of this face. So, if I know the area of this face, I can easily find the area of this face the, uh, because both of these faces are of equal measurement. So, I can say that it is equals to 2 into length into width. Then we move towards the end, towards the other face towards another face so it will be area of second face is equals this is the second face and its similar face is this one so if i find the face the area of this face i can easily say that the area of this face is the same so i can write here as area is equals to width into height or is equals to 2 into width into height because we have the two faces of the same measurement. Now, the last face, that is area of the third face, will be area of third face is equals to, now what is the third face? Third face is this one, top and bottom. So, area of the third face is the area of the top rectangle or the bottom re rectangle. You have to find the area of one of those and multiply it with two. So, if I talk about the top, or the bottom what we will get is it will be length into height or equals to 2 into length into height because we have top plus bottom the we have to write the area of the two faces now we have find the area of all the faces now what will be the surface area of the cuboid let's see so surface area of cuboid is equals to 2 into length into width plus 2 into width into height plus 2 into length into height. So, this is the formula for finding the surface area of the cuboid and you can easily use this formula whenever you will be given with the length, width and height of the cuboid. You just need to put the values in this formula and you will get the surface area of the cuboid. So, that's all from today's lecture. Thank you.